Good morning, church. I am so happy to be joining you on day 22 of our prayer and fasting season. If you are fasting with us, I just want to encourage you to keep on going. Keep on fasting and praying. I know and I believe that we are moving the heart of God in this season. And if you aren't able to fast with us for whatever reason in this season, I want to encourage you and I hope this still blesses you this morning. I'm so excited because we are praying for our very own Lighthouse Church today on day 22. We are praying that every strategy of the enemy, every demonic power, every force of the enemy is going to fall in the name of Jesus. We are praying for protection over the Lighthouse today. I'm so blessed and honored that I am part of this church where we have chosen to give God our first for our first fruits and keep Jesus at the center of our church in 2021 by offering our whole January to him and dedicating it with prayer and fasting. But how many know that when the church of Jesus Christ starts to rise, starts to put him first, the enemy is going to come and try and tear down the walls that God is building. So church, we need to be alert of the plans of the enemy, the strategies of the enemy, so we can pray against it. One of my favorite testimonies that I ever heard um, was from an evangelist in America, and his name is John Ramirez. He said that he grew up in a family that was devoted to witchcraft. They were Satan worshipers, and at the age of nine, he was induced into the witchcraft um, lifestyle. He said when he got older, he used to go to churches, sit in the pews, and try and put curses of divorce, uh, curses of division, curses of cancer within the churches of Jesus Christ. But I'll never forget what he said. He said there were certain churches that he could not penetrate. And it was the churches where the churches put Jesus at the center and prayed. He said he remembers one church very specifically that he went to. And he said there was a group of young people that were standing outside the church and praying. And he could not put curses and penetrate the spirit in that church. He said when he gave his life to Jesus, he understood the strategies in the, of the enemy because he had been on the enemy's side. And when he came over to Christ's side, he said the only thing that's going to come against the enemy is when we pray and put Jesus at the center of our churches. It says in Ephesians chapter 6, Six, that we are to put on God's whole armor, that we may be able to successfully stand up against the strategies and the deceits of the devil. For we are not wrestling with flesh and blood, but against the despotisms, against the powers, and against the spirits and the world rulers of this present darkness, against the spirit forces of wickedness in the heavenly sphere. Therefore, put on God's complete armor that you may be able to resist and stand your ground on the evil day and having done all to stand firmly. Church, our lighthouse church, we are doing so much for the kingdom of God. We have so much that we need to stand firm for. We are doing missions all over the world in India, in Romania. We are doing missions even within our local community with our Bless Manchester project. We are having church services every Sunday and streaming them online. We are doing C groups and M groups and ministries all, all online in this season. We have so much to stand for and God has called the lighthouse to do much for his kingdom in this season. So I want to encourage you as you are praying and fasting today to put on the full armor of God and let's pray against the strategies of the enemy for as we put Christ first, the enemy is going to try and tear us down. Put on the full armor of Christ, church. Stand firm. And I want to encourage you that there is no weapon formed against the church of Jesus Christ that can ever stand. No weapon, no word ever spoken against the lighthouse will ever come to pass. For Christ is our vindicator. So let's continue to put him first and continue to fast and pray against any division, any spirit of the enemy, any strategy over the enemy, over the lighthouse church. Be blessed, Lighthouse, 
and know that Christ is your defender in this season.